Reporting from the newsroom in Champaign, I'm Evan Curland, and this is the Daily Illini Vidcast for Wednesday, January 23rd. The Illinois Student Senate's Committee on Campus Affairs discussed a proposed resolution ensuring that the university will be known forever as the Fighting Illini. The issue was brought up on Tuesday's meeting, but has been pushed back to discussion on for January 29th. This postponement was made to give committee members more time to research the subject. Student Body President Brock Gebhardt is not concerned that keeping the name of the Fighting Illini will hinder the selection process of a new symbol for the university. The Board of Trustees will be meeting to discuss tuition and fee increases. Tuition is expected to increase at a modest rate because of the Board's policy to keep it no greater than the cost of living index. Students should plan to see an increase in student fees and room and board. However, the Executive MBA program is the only program that will not face an increase. In the global world that we live in today, it might help to know another language rather than just English. Silvina Montreal, a professor in the Department of Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese, says that learning a second language can change a person's life and open doors for potential careers. Recent studies have shown that being bilingual may even aid in delaying the onset of debilitating diseases like Alzheimer's. Senior Yoshi Mori has been chosen as Illini of the Week for his ability to lead the men's gymnastics team that has faced so much adversity this season. With the absence of recently graduated Paul Ruge and injured star CJ Mises, Mori has shown poise and determination to his fellow teammates by competing injured for most of the season. In Mori's last event, the Windy City Invitational, he placed third in the all-around competition while excelling in his favorite event, the Paul Morris. And lastly, Illinois' three-game losing streak finally came to an end last night when the Fighting Illini defeated the Nebraska Cornhuskers 71-51. DJ Richardson scored a career-high 30 points and was aided by Brendan Paul, who added 14 more. The Illini now hope to start a winning streak as they play on the road at Michigan next. For the Daily Illini, I'm Evan Curland, and this has been the Daily Illini Vidcast.